Okay, tonight's dinner is what is called a bear burrito. I got the recipe from Mel Chaos Life, and I mean, I'm not sure where she got it from, but I'm sure she got it from some sort of newspaper or mag I mean magazine or YouTuber or something. So what it is is shredded lettuce, um, ground hamburger beef, which um, I'm going to convert over to turkey for all of my ground beef, but um, for right now we're doing a little bit of half and half. Um, it's got some frozen corn in there some rice, green pepper, and onion, and it's brown rice, Uncle Ben's brown rice. And then I topped it with a quarter of a cup of cheese and two tablespoons of <clears throat> sour, uh, sour cream. Also inside the meat mixture is a f full jar of um, salsa. And I made a bigger dish because I have five people to feed three of which are either preteens or teenagers, so um, we needed more than just the one pound, so I pretty much just doubled the recipe, uh, except for the cheese and the, the sour cream on top. I just uh, the, I put a quarter cup, and that was plenty on there, so I didn't put any more. Um, out of all of that, this is what is left in the pan. I can't stir it or anything. I already put my spoon in the sink, and my measuring cup is over on the other side of the counter, but it still leaves, I would say, at least, I, I took five one-cup servings out of the pan for each of our plates, and I would say it still has easily probably five more cups in there. So I would say if you double the recipe using two bags of rice, um... Uh, I can't remember. I'll put the recipe in the bar down below. Um, but I doubled the recipe, and um, I still have five cups left. So, or I, what I'm guessing is about five cups. So I've heard a little bit of slack from my dear husband. He's <laughs> he's moping because there's no tortilla shell with the burrito. So as I said, it's called a bear burrito, meaning no tortilla. But he says this is a, a burrito salad. <laughs> so I'm going to blog his reaction to it and see what he thinks. Okay, this is my husband John pouting <laughs> because there's no tortilla with his bear burrito. I guess he wanted something naked or something. I'm not quite sure what to to know what he thought he was getting, but we're going to judge his reaction and see what he thinks of it. Go ahead, baby, eat it. And you better like it. <laughs> What do you think? It's all right for a salad. It's not a salad. It's a bear burrito. <laughs> Hang on, Dylan. I'm going to come get you guys' reply responses in a minute. So do you like it? Would you have it again? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Food's food, right? Mm -hmm. It's not fast food, right? I don't have to make it. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> okay, so this is Dylan. He is my oldest. He's 15. And he was really excited about eating healthier because he is very into um, fitness and, um, oh yeah, look at the muscles. You go boy. <laughs> so, um, he's going to give us his impression and reaction of the bear burrito. I think it's good. Look at me when you're talking, please. I think it's good, but it's not a burrito. But it's a bear burrito. It's not a burrito. A burrito means a shell. <laughs> So, do you like it? I like it, but does, still not a burrito. Does it taste like something healthy and good for you? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> all right. Okay, this is my daughter. She did not want me to use her real name because of all the strangers on the internet, which is a very smart girl. <laughs> so, which, um, anyways, so she would like me to call her Elizabeth. So, Elizabeth, <laughs> what do you think of the Bear Burrito? Um, I think it's really good. I think it has a lot of incorporation. Look at it. It looks cute. Cute? Cute is tasty, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so does it taste like a diet food, or does it just taste good? It tastes like a burrito. With, like, it tastes like a burrito, just as my brother would say it. Asian nachos. <laughs> I think he, has that a, he has a thing with Asian. <laughs> For the record, as you previously saw, my husband is Asian, but my children are apparently stuck on this fact this past nope. week or so. I'll get to you in a minute. I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> and um, but I think it's really good, and it it just incorporates a lot. A lot of what vegetables and stuff? Vegetables and kind of culture. Culture? What kind of culture? Um, Italian. <laughs> <laughs> but I know the, the, like, the burrito American, like, 
they're not talking about that. And then the rice that's in it, there's actually rice and you can't see it. Um, and... Yeah, hurry up. My food's getting cold. <laughs> and, but it has Mexican and all different things because it has the rice and the meat. No. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, this is my middle child, my second son, who's a little bit of a kiss up. <laughs> he, he he doesn't want me to say his name either. Correction, a lot of it. A lot of it. <laughs> he doesn't want me to use his real name either, so we're gonna call him James. So um, don't <laughs> don't watch too too many of my videos because I'll probably slip. I'm sure I will. Okay, so Donnie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. We just gotta have to post that. <laughs> okay. So you don't mind if I share your real name now? That's not even my real name. <laughs> That's it's okay. Jacob, woohoo! Uh, hush, please. <clears throat> okay, go ahead, uh, Donnie, Donnie James. <laughs> what is your impression of the bear burrito? I, by the name, I figured it would be more like a monstrous burrito, like a taco bell, just a lot more healthy. So the term bear made you think big. Yeah. Okay. Ah! You are your mother's son, honey. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Okay, go ahead. And it uh, didn't it turn out like I thought it would, but it's great. I thought it would actually have a shell. You like it? I love it. So you'd eat it again then? Yeah, I like it. I love it. Alrighty. Thank you, Donnie James. <laughs>